What's up, man? I'm T-Rail. We back here. Got my boy G Malone, you know what I'm saying? Got the LA Giants with him. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> yes, hey, sir. What's cracking? Man, you know what, man? This is, uh, I ain't even gonna lie to you. This is a full circle moment for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really, they laughing at me, cuz. This is really, it is because growing up, who phone on? See, this is oh, one on one podcast, and man, get get these niggas up out of here, G. <laughs> right off that bullshit. Yeah. I, I put it on vibrate, cuz. Certain people we can't sign this. Oh, see. <laughs> The nigga baby mama calling it's already. Old, uh, nigga think you ain't doing no interview. I told you. Turn my shit off, man. Yeah. Fuck it. I, oh. I still ain't learned how to use this motherfucker all the way right. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's a full circle moment. You know what I'm saying? For G, because you know what I'm saying? I, I looked up looked up to you for a long time. And, you know, I always speak about you and I speak about these moments, you know, and the memories I had and just in LA and LA culture. You know, and I was telling, you know, I'm going to tell you the story. I was walking on uh, Vermont, Manchester. I used to kick it with my homie every day on Vermont, Manchester. I used to be on the corner. My homegirl worked at the liquor store. And my other homegirl, she went to the little school over there, you know what I'm saying, to do hair. And then, you know, one day, nigga, I see this fucking Bentley nigga come, nigga, down Vermont, nigga. And I was like, damn, you see that shit, nigga? <laughs> and I'm looking and I was like. That's that nigga G Malone. And I'm looking like, God, rich as fuck. I'm telling my homie, like, I'm like, niggas from the ghetto can be rich, God. Look, that nigga crip, crip it too. Look, bro. I'm telling homie, we spoke about that shit the whole day. I'm like, but that day, I'm telling you, homie, that shit changed my life. Me and the homie, like, bro, we gotta get some more. We got <laughs> we gotta do something, but we hanging at the liquor store. I'm like, we gotta do something, bro. Like. You know, and you know, to be looking at you, you know, fucking with you, you know what I'm saying, all during the industry, like still in the streets, like, bro, and then just be sitting here and speaking to you, man. It's a sick moment for me, bro. Man, it's crazy. Um It I don't think it ever really sat in. That none of this shit really sat in to me. Being a rapper or like being in the industry, none of it really I don't know, it just never sat in with me. It always was like I was always glasses no matter what. Um, it's funny you saying that, right? I remember uh, I remember like driving down Hoover Fig, Vermont, all that and that shit, man, and people staring at me, and I'm looking to myself like, why is all these niggas staring at me? But it just, you know, as much as it's a low rider, it's still different. Like for some reason, all of that shit signifies some kind of, Wealth that you don't, you know, I don't know nothing about that shit. And that shit was some shit I got fucking with Mac. So, I don't know, man. None of this shit really sat in. I always was myself the whole time. Yeah, that's that's super crazy. I mean, I mean, I, I try to carry myself like that throughout the industry too, man. And make sure, you know, I didn't let this shit fuck with me. And, you know, I didn't lose my fucking mind over this shit. Like, because you really can. You, oh, you yeah, getting this yeah, shit thinking you, yeah. you will fucking go crazy. But... I got a lot of memories with you, bro. Like, even, like, you know, at Top Dog, old shit, you know, his studio in Carson. Like, I was sitting there one day, and you came in, nigga. You had about five, six songs ready, you know what I'm saying? And Punch, like, I'm going to just record G real quick. I'm like, you finna record, nigga? What? Then you come back in here again. It's just moments coming in. You just coming in. You record, boom, 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 boom. You knocked them out. I'm like, this nigga hard, bro. You feel me? Like. That's crazy, but like even with that studio, like you know, seeing Dot and all of that shit, them niggas, yeah. you know, on the rise and shit. Like, that was a crazy yeah. shit. That's crazy. I remember the first time nigga Q came to the studio, I was there. Damn. I remember they introduced him. It was G D, feel me, and they did a joint venture. Mm -hmm. And I remember listening to Q and thinking, this nigga dope is a motherfucker. And he like, yeah, you know what I mean, blah, blah, He's talking to me, he's like groove. I was like, oh, this nigga's a real little Uber too. I like this nigga. <laughs> because, you know, it was, it was different. Like at that time, you know, niggas wasn't as forthcoming with being from where they was from. You know what I mean? That's what I always respected about you and everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas who was forthcoming about their experiences growing up from where we from. A lot of niggas at that time wouldn't act like they, like right now everybody acting like they from somewhere, but at that time niggas didn't used to act like that. Like you, that's why I listen to now niggas be like, yeah, they be talking crazy. And I'm like, man, these niggas never cuss. Me and for sure I would have been the one person you would cuss, but 
I remember that shit, man. I remember the, the list on the wall at TDE. I remember that whole shit, man. Everything about it. Like going in there and it had the list and it had the couch and it's like. That's, a, that's you a, broke. Yeah, yeah, like that that shit stuck with me too. Yeah. You oh, it sticks me? with me right yeah, now. It yeah, stuck it stick with, me with me too. Me. Like yeah. how you feel about seeing them niggas like, you know, and they growth and what they do what they become. Um Dada I Dada I wouldn't I seen it already. I believed it. Mm-hmm. Um I could see it. Dot was always like this crazy. Kendrick was always this crazy student. Like he studied everything. Um we'd be talking about different things and he just was studying. He he had like this Michael Jackson type of vibe about him when it came to figuring out what was what all the time and how he absorbed what everybody could do. Like he was really like like Tupac does an interview where he said like uh like I mastered all these niggas styles. That's Dot too. Like Dot really mastered every nigga style. Um, Rock finally getting his plaques, that was important. That meant everything to me because we kind of started together, me, Rock, and Nip. And, uh, but Q is probably the craziest one to me because that shit is funny because he's just a real little L.A. nigga, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, sure. So when I talk to him, you know, we talk boxing or something, that, that's crazy. And, like, I listen to his music. This nigga be banged out. I'm like, damn, this nigga Q. I just think that's dope. So is the one that's really surprising me because I I just knew he was gonna be the nigga. To me, like the he nigga. had more of the he really gave the sauce to black. He is the black hippie. Yeah, he is. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. him, you know what I mean? I, I sometimes I just wonder about Lori and different things, you know what I mean, and how it affected him. But he's the one that I really am expecting still to finish the assignment. That's important to me to watch him. Still right now. Get his, yeah, he yeah. got to. Because he's still that good. He like yeah. really, 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 really good. So we just waiting around. Yeah, we, I want to see We know it's going to happen. happen. We just waiting around. It's and when it happens, it's going to be like a motherfucking <laughs> storm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's going to hit the whole industry. Were you ever supposed to sign over there to TDE? Because your relationship was super great over there. Nah, man, I was just a fan of dude dog growing up. Like I knew who he mm. was in the streets. We was all hustling. When I first got my first sack, I already knew who Dude Dog was. I knew about Mike Conception, you know, that they was related. Um, he was one of them names you hear around the city that had some money. So when I was already rapping and he started, he got his label going, it's just the natural thing, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he was doing, I was down for it. But I don't know if we ever talked about doing the deal. I don't recall it. I just think that at that time, I was already kind of starting to buzz. I was already kind of with game at that point, figuring it out. Mm-hmm. Then I got a deal. And then they, they, we all got our deals around the same time. So, But we was always like right with each other the whole time. I ain't gonna lie, that was one click that was, we was there the whole time. Oh God, yeah. We, we, we had this shit in Hollywood, cause I remember uh, this nigga from, uh, this G nigga from 60s booked us for Hollywood at a club. And um, we was all going there to perform. It was, what was that spot connects to Capitol building? It was a club. I have no idea. Not the Avalon across, but on the same side. I had to ask Pun because you know that's yeah, that's his shit. Yeah, <laughs> Punisher, shout out to the Punisher. Yeah, but uh, we went, cousin. We went together, and uh, some crazy shit was happening. J O Felony was in the parking lot. He had some crazy shit going on, and it was just niggas coming out that motherfucking gangbangers, right? So we walk into the door, and uh, I don't remember who the nigga was, cuz, but the nigga said. He was like, all right, glasses, y'all good over here. Hey, all the all the bloods. He didn't call them like the rap. He didn't call J Rock, none of them the rap. He was like, all, all the bloods, y'all come over here. And I remember like, like, nah, man, I'm not finna go in fool. Like, we finna chill with the homies. You know what I mean? He like, no, G, y'all good. Nah, nah, I gotta stay with the homies. And they never went in, so we never went in. That's how airtight we always been. I mean, that's how it's a fucking supposed to be. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, L.A. always putting that politics shit on the nigga, man. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? That fuck it up, That man. shit don't mean nothing. Man, all that shit don't mean nothing. When you've been doing this shit long enough, man, you do it how you going to do it, and that's it. Yeah. Ain't no nigga tell us how to do this shit at this point. I listen to young niggas tell me all the time, but all the politics, man, we tell these niggas how this shit go. If you really from out here, you know how this shit go. You're going to do it how you want to do it. Yeah. That's really what I believe. I mean, well, I introduced them lightly, but uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You introduced them, you know what I'm saying, in a you know, better light. So this is what's crazy, right, about the Giants. I've been knowing Joey. I was still selling Sherm at that point when I first met Joey. He had to be like a little kid, probably like 14, 14 or something. Mm-hmm. He was already a veteran at rapping, though. I had only rapped like a year or two. He was already a veteran, and his older cousin and my big homie was like close. So we we met through him, 
and I met them back then, but he was already good at that age. And looped back around, um, I knew who his brother was. I knew who they was. They was dope. They always could rhyme like a motherfucker, but we just was in different circles. And I was starting to work on Tupac Must Die at that point. And I started talking to Joey, and then I started building with Deuce, and kind of been thick as thieves ever since. Like, it became my mission to help them get where they trying to go. Y'all brothers. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, y'all brothers. So <clears throat> y'all, y'all like, Player Ham, that's y'all daddy? Yeah. Like father. Yep. That's y'all father, yep. <laughs> Like, <laughs> so y'all niggas got <laughs> ties to Easy e <laughs> Met Easy e yeah. Seen that nigga a few times growing up. Y'all pulled up before. Nigga be at the house on Normandy yeah. chilling. Easy e pulled up. Nigga on Normandy in that yes. big ass BMW. The man, tell me how that is. The man, tell me like what kind of. is a motherfucker, but it's something that we always like. It, it kind of stick with us and it make us something um, like we proud about. Yeah, but yeah. He really pulled up. It was dope. Yeah. What was that nigga it's talking crazy. about when he pulled up, man? Yeah, nigga, shit like this. Yeah. Regular he nigga. was a regular nigga. He was bro. really like, a real nigga. He, he just made up. you seem like he wasn't famous. Yeah. yeah. On God, bro. That As you was look regular, at he just had new the newest car before it came out type of shit. That's Hoodied it. Up. He was up, a man. regular nigga, bro, in the Pendleton and the motherfucking khakis. I think we do got this memory though. We always talk about like the nigga drunk our juice, like out the out the, you know, oh, like yeah, the whole punch, nigga, like nigga, take the whole thing. Yeah, nigga, like and drunk our punch, nigga, right out nigga. The, on the out the bottle type shit. Like you do sneak when your mom be like, put that goddamn juice down. Yeah, like some real ghetto shit like I that. Know, but, yeah, ghetto ass nigga. Yeah, like a regular nigga. But in, oh, in hindsight, flashed. you know, he probably was just checking on his investment, seeing what niggas was doing and shit. But he'll pull up. So this shit is meant to we be for you niggas, up. man. You feel me? Y'all y'all been doing it for a minute. Like DJ Quick, y'all DJ Quick nephews, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can say that. Yeah. Like yeah. I can say that? <laughs> yeah, you can I can say, say that. that, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like, niggas, <laughs> them niggas was in the same room and yeah. all that. It's yeah. funny yeah. when I listen to that shit, dad yeah. and shit rapping, they talk about their mom and their dad. Quick talk about it, how they started, like his dad and his mom started to squab. Yeah, yeah, and safe and sound. And you listen to sound. the third verse or the second verse, one of them, he pretty much tell the story when he, you know, when Pops took him in and, you know, Moms and Pops fell out with tripping moms, and they fell out, so they both had to go, and that's how they ended up in the Harlem. He, he go mm -hmm. and we go. We yeah. both was on our way. Yeah, so safe and sound, that's, that pretty much tell you the story. Yeah. How How is yeah. our relationship with him when, right now? It's cool. You know what I'm saying? He be reaching out. He'll tap in. We ain't ever really got to sit down and really work like we would like to, but, you we know, it's cool. It it's love. You know, I can, all yeah, the time. I can yeah. text him, and he, he may hit back. He may not. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, That's how I nigga be in Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, you know. You know how that shit is. But when he, ready, yeah. when he ready to fuck with us, we'll fuck with him. It ain't no hate. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When we was younger, we used to take shit personal. But we understand that it kind of come with it. They you know was the mad know? rappers when they was younger. Cause yeah. I mean, All shit. that shit used to be angry. Yeah, you were feeling really like that angry. Man. <laughs> you gotta just, be aggressive you know, out angry, here. Yeah, nigga just was doing what Pops was doing. If you listen to his old shit, man, that nigga was just tripping. He's so yeah, just was doing the same thing. Like, they was mad at me for the New West movement. Oh, I'm gonna get on you in a minute, yeah, hold on. Yeah, like, sure. I was, I was, this nigga is I, I was crazy. Tripping, no, I was bro, like, what no. you mean the new? I felt like yeah. it was like yeah, nigga, nigga, the new nigga, West, the new yeah, West yeah. Coast. <laughs> like, what the fuck this nigga talking we about? We gonna get on this nigga. I'm, I'm glad y'all <laughs> with me too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We finna ask him some questions. Them niggas talking about pops, nigga. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, I used to be. Oh God, I was tripping. I used to be like, man, that's some bullshit, my nigga. So pops motivated y'all to, you know what I'm saying, get into rapping and doing y'all thing. Yeah. Pretty much. Kind of like, you know, we just picked it up on our own. He didn't force it on us, but the shit was just happening every day around us. So niggas would be in the cut doing our own thing away from him. Uh -huh. Just at home rapping, making songs, or just drawing and rapping, just doing shit, bro. It just, it was natural, bro. Like, we didn't know nothing else because everybody in the house was, was fucking rapping. So if you got quick doing beats, Battle Cap Battle pulling Cap up off beat. the bus, nigga, right. with a fucking shoebox with all these fucking discs in it. You know what I mean? Like and they just making yeah. beats and shit. You feel me? So we don't know. We just running around. But this just what's going on. So we like, okay, well, we going to, I guess this is what we supposed to do. Because every nigga around us is fucking rapping and making beats and shit. We never got to the beat making shit. That shit was kind of like too, like, nigga that had a patience for making the beats. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Especially you hearing they shit all day. You start making one. That shit, shit don't sound nothing like yeah, You get discouraged, yeah, man. Yeah, that shit trash. <laughs> okay, quick, man. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Nigga, like, right. what I supposed to put with that, that shit? shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Quick, make it be You start making it be yeah. 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 Boy, that You shit quit. Was trash. I, I mean, I'm Quick was trying to teach me how to make a beat one time. Boy, and I was like, was... man, this shit don't even sound. He's like, that ain't what you got to trip on. Man, where the paper like, at? 
Yeah, you, right. you got to come back to it. Let me yeah, see. You might have to hear something, but yeah, that yeah. take a real genius, man. I mean, it take man. patience, bro, because I know niggas who was garbage as fuck. Now they kind of tight, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's I just had the patience for that. There got to be something you really want to do. That's really yeah. fucked up when you think about it. You try to make your first beat quick in Battle Cat playing beats. Just like that, like man, I ain't fucking yeah, with this shit. With yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> How was y'all when you was like, you know what, man? Let's click up, let's do this shit together, nigga. We gonna go all the way with this shit, nigga. As about me and bro. Yeah, as brothers. Oh man, it was. It, it just became inevitable at one point. But I used to rap with a couple homies in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I used to have my thing and Deuce always. Bro was always like really good at it. Like they yeah. got, they got like a tape. When he like four years old rapping and beatboxing, you know, talking about how quick my DJ and pops is this. And then I didn't really, then I just started getting better at it and start going to the studio. He wrote my first rap that actually like was dope. And I yeah. remember I going in the cypher and spitting that motherfucker like, nigga, I'm harder than everybody, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I got the best rap. Yeah, raps. nigga. You know what I'm saying? I so I just start growing and growing. And then with pops, uh, we used to rap with our cousin too. Shout out to Bugsy. And one time, Pops just was like, man, I want to call y'all the YGs, you know, and he just put us together. And that's when we called ourselves the Young Giants. Uh -huh. and, then, um, and then we just gradually, it was inevitable, you know what I'm saying, him being my brother. And then we both just getting better and better and better at it. It was like, nigga, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? This is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it was okay. just easy to do it. Like, nigga get one beat. He might be somewhere. I might be somewhere. We come with the same concept, but we ain't even talked about this shit. We just come together with verses and they match. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the shit was just like, man, this is what we supposed to do. I was rapping with some niggas or something. He was rapping with some niggas, but that shit did, you know. Yeah, because being from Los Angeles and, you know what I'm saying, being from the heart of Los Angeles and doing y'all thing and, you know, uh, being involved with everybody, Easy A, DJ, Quick, like, you know, and y'all rapping at a young age, did the streets ever catch up with you and, you know, like, you know, kind of like sidetrack you a little bit? No, nah, we was able to avoid that. I mean, it, the opportunity was there. You know, we used to have little clicks and shit that we represent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you from where you from? Like, you grow up the way you grow up. But I was scared of my mama, my nigga. I yeah. ain't gonna lie. I, I didn't want to. I was scared of mama. So yeah, I never really, there, I never really took it there. Like, we was in the streets. You know, you be saying shit, fuck these niggas and all that. Cause it's, no, just, we ain't only on the block, all that. But to really take that next step to where it's like, nigga, get official when the homies start really going there. I kind of knew, like, nah, I wasn't. Nah, I don't really want to go that, that far. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, and yeah, like, can't none of you niggas make me do nothing. Nigga didn't have to, neither, though, because we was, like, really from right there. So And I really get a like, Pops credit, man. You don't got to get yeah, Pops was, ass, too. Yeah, Pops, Pops had told me something, like, when I was a kid. He was he was like, oh, I think I heard you was on uh, Florence with this on with the T hat. Okay, nigga, I'm going to take you over here to your enemies and shit. And I'm like, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> like, like, no, 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 so if you don't want to be responsible for all the shit that these niggas doing that you don't agree with, then nigga, figure something else out to do. I know and that always stuck with me, even though I was still with the homies, all go right. to the swap meet, hang out, all that shit. But that was always in the back of my mind. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and I just try to tell the homies, like, man, you know, we ain't really got to. Yeah, go this. We ain't got to do none of that. Nigga, we, from right here, we straight already. Didn't have what but we some had, niggas though. didn't I have what we had. You know what I mean? They didn't have a dad to make it seem real or make it feel like the right thing to do. The right thing to do for them was just to go on and run it. So, And I love that y'all had a pops in y'all life because that's not shit you hear every day, especially in Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and giving a nigga game together, in the ghetto. There. Yeah, even yeah. when he wasn't there, he was there. When him and mom split, yeah. he was still there, bro. He was still there. Man, that shit is so fucking important in yeah, Los boys, Angeles, That's the whole man. story of Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The separation between Trey and Doughboy and them is literally just the dad. Yeah. yeah That's all up. it is. So they, so, so they dodged that shit, you know what I'm saying? Dodge the street shit, dodge the gang banging shit, only to connect with your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to be dissing niggas in the motherfucking rap game. Hold up. Call a nigga a whole new west and then beef with up. everybody. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Up. Let's go start with you, because I think we gonna start from the beginning, Mr. New West. You go <laughs> New West, you go let's start with Ice Cube. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Ice Cube and it was mad at me for I didn't diss nobody. 
Bro, you got my nigga making songs, kiss the ring, and all I don't the whole know why they shit. Did that. What's <laughs> crazy, bro? Man, listen. Well, he was talking about you on that motherfucker. Yes, oh, yes. Man, he got a whole about four songs getting at me, man, and it was you got so. By the goat. That's, I was that's so honored. legendary. Though. I know. I was so honored. I was like, that first off, why is this nigga though. talking to me? And why is Ice Cube rapping to me? But again, man, like, we really didn't have no beef, man. We just had this attitude. You know what I mean? It wasn't on purpose. Culturally, you know, you grew up with your old homies, y'all fuck with each other. It's, it's love. You know what I'm saying? They they show you support, they teach you shit. The rap game, these niggas wasn't like that. These niggas was like, yeah, whatever. Feel me? And it didn't mean nothing. Like I didn't take it personal, but you gotta think I didn't spend so many tens and twenties on these niggas CDs. I was just disappointed. So I was like, man, we not fucking with that, man. I'm gonna do my own thing. New West. We not gonna say that. Because one of the most heartbreaking things was when you go to a radio station and they like they see you these niggas kids they know i'm ice cube kid snoop dog kid dub c kid they're like man what's up with that you know do you, do you guys ever talk and i'm like no man did you, are they gonna do you work together no uh, you know that it, it became it's always about them when you when you throw this shit up it's about them yeah so the only way to where we could separate it and have a fair chance for ourselves was to make it about us and then when it, you make it about <laughs> when you make it about you, everybody else feel like, wait a minute, how you just gonna cut us off? It's like, nigga, we was already cut off. But we don't. I don't have no songs. This is Snoop or Ice Cube or Dubs. Man, I grew up <clears throat> off the shadiest one. I did all kind of unsavory shit to that album. Why do you think that nigga felt that compelled to make that fucking song about you? Like, you know what? This nigga got me fucked all the way up. I, so what happened exactly noise. was, cause I'm on tour with Tech 9 and them, or this right around that time. Joe Budden's got his camp. He, he's, this is before podcasting was podcasting. Cuz would just be talking to his computer. I thought the nigga was crazy. But he was podcasting, coming to find out before it was podcasting. He don't get enough credit for that, so shout out to Joe Budden's crazy ass. But he was talking to me, and he was telling me how he felt about meeting Method Man and how he felt disappointed. And I, I was like, damn, Method Man, cool. I don't know why he felt like that, but I was like, I've been through a situation like that where I met Cube and, you know, I, I was expecting to meet, nigga, the predator. Nigga, yeah. America's most, nigga. Right. The, the nigga with attitude. And how the situation happened, I didn't meet that person. And that shit was disheartening. So I was explaining it to Joe. I didn't call a nigga no bitch, nigga. I didn't call him out his name or nothing. I just explained the story. And I was like, damn, I just really seen a man. And I think he was just nervous. He was scared. How could I ever think or believe Ice Cube would that be scared, scared. Yeah, that scared or nervous? Well, I was with you. I was. <laughs> we was at a show one day. We seen Ice Cube, <laughs> but that's not the point. Though. That's, not the, that's no. not the point. Though. It didn't go. It didn't right. go exactly the way yeah. it was supposed yeah. to go. You know but, what I'm saying? But my point is, why would I not? What like this is what killed me about all of these legends, right? And all of these niggas I looked up to and bought their music. What do y'all expect me to think? What was I supposed to think cause when I made MC8? Was I supposed to think it was a regular person there or was I supposed to think that this nigga is MC8? Straight up Menace. Yeah. Is this nigga, who, what's cuz name from Menace A-wax. Society? A-Wax. Cause that's, I'm, I believed it. Nigga, this is who bought the shit. Same with Cube, same with Dre. I remember me and Dre cuz a nigga Dre tell me, glad y'all don't really fuck with real niggas. <laughs> Straight up told me that. I was like, shit, that's crazy. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Creeping. <laughs> Straight on things. <laughs> Yo, fuck with real niggas. That's crazy. So, that's some wild shit. It comes say. across to people like, I think they think I'm being an asshole. Uh, yeah. But I'm not. I'm just some kid that grew up that don't got kids. So, everything is still vivid to me as a kid. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, wait a minute. You know what I mean? Like, and that's not to say Cube ain't whatever he needed to do to survive these streets, but goddamn, I'm supposed to think I'm gonna meet the predator. What you thought I was supposed to meet? I'm supposed, Dr. Dre, nigga, fuck with Dre Day, nigga. Slap this bitch, nigga. It's and like you know, if I met Sugar Free and he wasn't a pimp, or if I met Too Short and he was opening the door for bitches, I'd be mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? We bought this shit, we believed it, and they got mad at me because I believed we it. We that shit out, yeah. too. And then we lived it. We definitely. Every part. <laughs> like I said, when you seen Cube that day, 
it was real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I respect it. I, I definitely respected that. And I always, I still believe that st- shit to this day. You feel me? And then, you know, and I hope you doing that shit right now to the youngsters that's trying to reach out to Hands you down. and fuck with you. Yeah. But, nigga, OGs from the West Coast, I just feel like it just ain't enough. Niggas ain't doing enough. I can't see enough. I don't see the fruits of niggas' labor. I don't see nothing's going on. Like, East Coast is real hip-hop. These niggas still popping out. I see Fat Joe, nigga, all these niggas. Fab and nigga coming out. Nas, these niggas still wearing chains. Like, like our, our legends is just like, it's just... Died away and dead, you feel me? Like, but, but they and it's crazy. Like, but I remember when I told this nigga, like, I, when I first told him, like, man, I wasn't fucking with that new West shit. He was like, I don't know why you felt the same way. And then we was breaking it That's down. That's the funny part. I was like, yeah. Damn, you right. Every bro, nigga but you was never, mad at me. Explain that though. But this all when the you time. Said it, it was just, this all the time or all anytime I talk, cause it's all the same thing. Niggas be like glasses tripping. I'm like, bro, y'all know I'm not tripping. Like, what are y'all? Why are y'all mad at me that I'm saying what we think? That's the whole point of it. We be disappointed, and nobody telling them. Then I jump up and be like, "Man, I'm disappointed. Man, G, you tripping, man? How you going, bro? This is the truth. Like, I agree with you. Like, they making good money. They doing well. Cube them doing well. Dre them doing well. But again, they connection to the culture, feel me, is what it is. Like, but they can't be. Up, they was upset at me, not Dre. Dre is my man, feel me, no matter what. Cube was upset or they can't felt I was getting at him. I'm like, nigga, how am I getting that? Nigga, I didn't bought more of your CDs than you bought of your CDs. Right. Nigga, I grew up to this shit. Nigga, I was at the movie theater watching Friday as a kid. Friday, Boys in the Hood, every movie, nigga. Trespass, everything. How you going to look at me crazy, nigga? I am a product of what you do. Yeah. yeah. That's this is oh. why I am that. Nigga, how are you upset at the reflection? Yeah. Nigga, this is the reflection of the content you made. It's not your fault I'm this, but this is what you rap about. Summer vacation, nigga, I really did that. How the fuck could you? But again, you know, it is a certain level of entertainment. And you know who broke it down to me? Dub C. One day, we in Indiana finna do a show. And um, this is when all the shit was at its height. Niggas was yelling my name. I was hearing the records. I'm like, all right, well, you know me. Punishing to tell you, we ain't gonna make no records. We just gonna see. Soon as we see you, we gon' you know we gonna get the energy. I heard them niggas downstairs, and I tricked Head. DJ Head was with me. I tricked him. And we went downstairs. The the label rep didn't know where we was going, but I heard somebody mic check and sound like Dub C. I'm like, oh, these niggas must be here today. So I slide down there. I'm by myself with Head. Head, you know, Head ain't no motherfucking gangbanger. Head <laughs> yeah. throw his fucking hands, but Head ain't no fucking gangbanger. So we slide down there, and I stand up right there in the middle of the floor. I'm like, what's up, Cuz? You feel me? Dub on stage. They looking. Feel me? Them niggas jump off stage. Tunes and Doves come back. They talking to me. Me and Tunes finna straight out get into a fade, nigga, on, on God. I'm finna... I'm trying to... Nigga, what's happening? <laughs> Tunes is a real Feel nigga, me? man. Crip game was. <laughs> <laughs> Tunes is a real wild. nigga, bro. And I remember Doves stopped <clears throat> it, right? And Tunes walked out. And that hurt my feelings because I grew up also off the, off the motherfucking tapes. I finna fight niggas that I grew up listening to and loving. And Dove just made me feel like a little three-year-old kid, man. My glasses, this entertainment. Why do you think these niggas? He said, if these niggas was wanted to be in the streets, why would they be rapping? He like, you rapping. Why are you treating this like the streets? And it just fucked me up, and I never recovered. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. But that's the thing about hip-hop. It's supposed to be and feel real. Well, now, you know what I'm saying, people are taking that shit to heart, and they are, this shit is real. These niggas getting arrested for RICO charges. These niggas is really shit killing crazy. niggas, you know what I'm saying, and talking about actually the the whole description of the shit. Like, you These know, it's, drugs, <laughs> yeah. they are, so it's like, like, that's why I say, well, where do we stop? That's that's really right dope bars shit, bro. We, yeah. yeah. We, we not being honest in this whole conversation, because these niggas is high. Yeah. These niggas is that's why they go to jail and cry. I ain't never cried in jail. I meant everything I did whenever I got a charge. I meant it. So but when you go to jail and you start crying, you start re recognizing your life, and you start talking about your family when you were in jail and all that. You weren't talking about your family a couple when you days was doing ago. The shit. That's cause you was high. These niggas high. I don't really think none of these niggas really like that. I think they just high. They use the drugs like niggas in the city. Niggas to smoke sherm. Certain niggas smoke sherm. Nigga ain't really like that, bro. If you really, really like that, do it with your clear conscience. We'll see. Yeah. Niggas will make a thousand times better decision if they wasn't high. 
All these niggas doing shit because they high. That's the first thing they do. Let me get drunk. Oh, I'm going to get drunk to go do this. You Bitch, ain't weed highs either, nigga. Yeah, you come from the era of the Sherm and the whole yeah. little thing. I mean. I know the craziest niggas yeah. in the city. I know some, <laughs> I know some of your crazy ass homies. Yeah. I know so <laughs> many crazy niggas. Because that's my profession. Niggas that sell Sherm. Even niggas that did Sherm is wild. But niggas that sell Sherm is even crazier. No, profession. you a crazy motherfucker. How you so you that? dipped this shit. You knew you was like, this shit gonna kill this nigga. And pride yourself in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> you one of them niggas. Oh, I ain't gonna get nothing. Oh, yeah, Is you one of them niggas, D? Yeah, you sure. was one of them. Oh, you a crazy motherfucker. Hey, no, no, no. That's can crazy, it, bro. If you can hit it three That's times, how, you can get your So, my back. first CD, White Lightning. <laughs> so, my first CD, White Lightning, was named after this charm I had oh, called crazy. White Lightning. It was like the last batch I had that was popping. It was like the pipe was clear, so the water came out clean. No water it usually look yellow. Is this before or after or no, during? Is, come on, man. I ain't selling Sharon no more. During. This is during. This is so I'm rapping now, but still this doing is my thing. last effort. You a cold nigga. This is my last <laughs> effort, right? So my last run. It's my yeah. last effort. So I got this Sherm. Nobody wanted to buy it because it was clear. You know, the pipe determined the color. Preparadine determined the color. So normally it's yellow or kind of this pissy looking yellow. This shit was clear, nigga. Look like set him up. So I seen it. The homie came and bought. I like I bought two gallons from him. He like, all right, this right here. So I have somebody test it. They hit it twice and stop. I have another nigga, a nigga from Legends, hit it twice, can't go. A nigga from Front Hood hit it, twice, couldn't go. I'm like, different niggas testing it. They test this. Sherm Olympics. Nigga can't get the three licks. So I'm like, oh, this shit right here. So I come up with a market strategy. I'm about to call this shit White Lightning. And my sales pitch was because if you can hit it three times, you can have it free. All the niggas. That so he came up with he came up with all his marketing strategies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying uh, for the game, uh, selling shirts oh to and crib niggas. How y'all feel about this <laughs> nigga, man? Though, man <laughs> you so many G niggas, niggas from families. I fuck. <laughs> everybody asks how I go. Ones. Everybody yeah. asks how I go hood to hood. I used to sell shirt to them niggas. Who introduced you to that shit to where you could be like, you know oh, what, hey, shit. G, you could do this. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be lucrative for you. Warren, Pluck. Pluck, Pluck introduced me. Pluck went to jail for us, so it don't matter. But uh, I was selling crack in high school. I was working for Boo, my homeboy Boo, for me at this time. And um, Pluck was like, man, you fuck with that bullshit ass. That shit whack, man. You need to fuck with this shirt. Sherm, what the fuck is Sherm? He like, man, I'm telling you, nigga, this shit right here, nigga. Blah, blah, blah. It's, just, it's crazy, guys. So, that's crazy. when long story short, he was right. Hootie who, man. It was different. That's how I started off as the hootie who, man. Just the lookout, man. Man, me nigga paid me three hundred fifty dollars a week. <laughs> oh, no, y'all no. try not to laugh. This nigga is that is no, crazy. Funny bro. Hey, man. niggas be thinking he be no, trolling because he yeah. be smiling when he telling you this shit. But it's funny I to me because like, I remember the time. You ever show some rap niggas drugs? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Who? Who? Oh, you mean like the actual <laughs> like an actual rapper? Oh, no, I don't think Jo was fucking. Jo was fucking with it at the time. Jo felony. Yeah. You so custom shine. Ask him. Oh my God! I go they caption, cuz. Yeah, ask you. I mean, I ain't in there for the caption. I'm just asking. I don't do that. I don't do the titles. Jo was rapping about it, and he not ashamed. But yeah. There's a couple niggas from Long Beach that rap that got uh, some of my. Yeah. Way better than that. There's a couple niggas from New York that make some of the best beats that got my charm at that time. Yeah, oh I was on my some God. Shit. Yeah. That's but as handyman and all, like, all them niggas, all them niggas know what's like. This is really what I used to do. Rap kind of saved my life because I probably have been. Yeah. Come on, man. You don't you go to prison at that point if you don't get killed. Well, rewind back to the New West. Yeah. I thought you was uh when I thought you went overboard when you uh had the Tupac must die shit. Why? <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck this nigga talking about? <laughs> You know, I'm like, it's just Everybody no slander like that, on man. Tupac name. What are we How doing is here? Slander, though? And I'm look, I'm like, let me, let me see, let me check it out, G. I'm like, I'm gonna check G out. It's the art form. Let me look at the video. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the art form. yeah, I'm gonna go oh, art form. God. I'm really, you know, I'm like, G got Tupac fucked up. Why? You know, I'm like, you know what? All right, G, we going I'm gonna let you why have that though? one though, bro. But like, why? What was wrong with it? It was. It's almost calling like you know, my nigga. It's almost calling like Pac was not a real one. He I was never a, said that. He was, you know, what I'm saying he was a mark. He got these niggas I into this shit. I never said that. 
I mean, we were insinuating this shit. I'm I just didn't read into the video and this shit. Like, how <laughs> like, 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 you know the I'm like, how, you how I, I felt. Think, you know, know what I'm saying? That, though. You know, and it's just like, you know, I'm like, you I, know I what? I think that's just what you feel about what I'm saying. And I'm looking at the video, I'm like, G low key snitching too, cuz. <laughs> you can't snitch on the dead, man. <laughs> no, I mean, the whole video. It's just like, damn. How could you snitch I was that mad. I was that mad. I was like, she snitching in the video. The nigga got the car made. He did, did the whole crime scene. Car. Yeah, you a cold nigga I for that. I had to paint that car to make it look new. You a cold we nigga for that. that. All the way to we Vegas. drove it to Vegas. And back. And back. And that motherfucker broke down when we got back. Yeah. That and you niggas was in the video fucking this with this nigga. nigga. Was I, was, I was right there, like, let's do it, nigga. I'm I, didn't, with I it. didn't make that one. I thought the shit <laughs> yeah, was cool. Don't fuck with that, yeah. I thought the shit was cool. I, I, I'm like, you know what? Pop must die, though. But, but that's, this, okay. that's your legend. That's yeah, yeah, our that's West Coast legend. And it don't change that he our legend. That don't change. He still is that nigga. You would've did it to him. Must that's die. my point. If no, no. Let me ask you a question. Fuck all that. Hold up. If J. Cole and his homies come up in this motherfucker and stomp you out, you gonna be like, you know what? I love this nigga, man. He's my favorite rapper. I'm not gonna do nothing to him. Hell no. Then what are you talking about? I might squabbling when I see him. I'm if, not if gonna gun him down. So if all them niggas come in and stomp you out, you gonna just squabble with him. I need that head I'm up. I'm gonna go get back and my homies and we gonna do my thing. And they you gonna it. squabble him. And it's You gonna camera. lie in here? You know how many jokes niggas go after you? know what my text gonna look like? <laughs> oh, just hold it by Jake like that. Kick you in your That's I mean, it, it could go anywhere though. Hold up, hold up. It could go anywhere. Not, 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 not from today. You from <clears throat> ten years ago when I first, when we first started talking all the time and fucking around. Ten years ago, that's what you doing. You, you ten know years ago, I sparked everybody down. Then what are we talking about? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we talking about everybody. Tupac, though, because we not supposed to be talking about what I would have did. But I'm saying, if J. Cole, what are people like, man, it's J. Cole. I would have sparked J. Cole everybody. ass down. The Pope. <laughs> the Pope. Ten years Baby ago. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, it's just, it was, God, people man. wasn't just used, to, I wasn't used to it. I ain't never, you know, heard nobody speak of his name and like a or put his name in a bad light. But it's not a bad light. The title alone is a bad light. No, it's not. It's if just Jay Tupac Cole must die. Jump you, he must die based off our culture. I mean, he you I mean he could die based no, no, off we, our culture. He gotta die, because the text I'm gonna be sending you about J. Cole <laughs> fucking you over. Oh, it's gonna man. be legendary. I mean, I'm gonna you have to, to get back at Cole. him. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking about J. Cole? Uh, Look, he gonna be mad at me. <laughs> Imagine dip tank. Hold on. J. Cole, my love. Oh, J. Cole just punched you out, huh? That's what's oh, happening. That's what we doing. One thing about I mean, us niggas, we love them. Especially put a LA on niggas. We, going, we not. I felt so, and what's crazy is when, I'm, night shit. when I came flash. with the idea, people thought it was about slandering Tupac. I really went out of my way to make sure I didn't. I really like didn't let it be no disrespectful words. Didn't call him out his name. I literally was like, I need to tell our story. Mm -hmm. I need to tell our story at the highest level. All these niggas trying to be involved. Let me tell our story at the highest level. I really went out of my way to not be disrespectful. Like I, these was the boundaries of me pushing. Like, okay, this ain't that bad. This ain't that bad. Okay, cool. Like I pulled back. So to hear that people felt like. Man, you went too far. I'm like, well, what did I say? And Dre, nigga, I'm arguing with Dre for like two, three hours. Dre still talks about that shit. I'm like, bro, why the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, it's just, you know, it was just the title. Niggas didn't even look at the video, the art form, and just even look at the and hear the music in its entirety. It was just Tupac must die. And that it stopped there. Fuck that on yeah. Twitter. What it say on you Twitter? You feel me? Says, uh, Tupac, oh, Tupac, Tupac deserved to die. to die on Twitter. That you know is they went cra crazy, bro. <laughs> you know they went Listen. crazy on that. How did you feel about that though? The first time you I seen mean, and heard that. Well, you thought I was crazy. Yeah, when he first brought me. it. What you, was crazy is he brought it up to us before it actually, like, because you know, G had come up with concepts before he write it. So we, one thing about what people don't understand, that's why they think he be trolling. Everything that he do is well researched. He's already then did the studying and all that. That's why he can talk about it the way he talk about it and. People be thinking, nah, this nigga like a contrarian or something like he trolling. But it's like, nah, the nigga didn't thought it through. So you're not going to be able to really even debate him on it like he already didn't have it. But when he first came to me, I'm like, yeah, that sounds kind of crazy. crazy. Because you're already <laughs> thinking about how people going to react to it, really. But when you really listen to the story and you really understand what the culture is and what come with what it is that Tupac participated in, you totally get it. How did that? What did Dr. Dre? What was that conversation? Oh, my God. Please yeah. tell me about oh this conversation God, with Dr. Yeah. Dre. Dre was like, glass man. You my little nigga, man. Why would you 
Why would you say fuck Tupac? First off, sir, I've never said fuck Tupac. Tupac, that's die. Craziest part. That's, that's, that's all I need. That's fuck Tupac is mama, everybody, the daddy. I'm like, damn. That's really how motherfuckers took it though. But you yeah. know what? To this day, I heard this older black lady explain to me: hearing is a bodily function, and listening Bro. is take us. It's a skill. People just hear, and they, and like, hearing is the acknowledgement of sound. That's why when somebody hears something, they're like, well, it sound like you said. That's what it feel like. I'm always talking to people about how they feel about what I said. I'm rolling over here speeding on my way. So I got the video for uh, Kanye should have never married that bitch. I get how it sounds. But in the reality of our culture, you don't wife no hoes. That's just a continuation of the same thing these niggas talk about. It's light. Culturally, it's light. So nigga, like, why you always got to bring up a celebrity name? And it's a picture in his little, little thing of, of Dre and Jay-Z and all. Why you got this picture in your shit? Why do you got this picture? So we was going to get to that, but your new song is called Kanye Shouldn't a Wife No Hoes. No, I didn't say that. See, <laughs> Kanye yeah, should have never married that bitch. Kanye, Kanye should have never shit. married that bitch. Same shit. Kanye, sh context. And I'm correct. <laughs> he should have never married her. You I mean, call you, you, you calling the you calling his kid's mother a bitch. Man, you know. I mean, theoretically to... all women oh, by that standard. That's how they look at it. Bitches. But not not personally her, right? But sure her. Are you taking up for Kanye? You know what I'm saying? As no, far I'm giving as this, him game. Like are you bro, giving him game. I'm giving him the game we grew up under. Yeah. The, the the shit our older homies told us, Sugar Free told us, Quick told us, Dre told us. Somebody didn't tell him. And what is that exactly? You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. And you you sitting here telling Kanye that he did Yes. What was he thinking? <laughs> oh my God. How could this have played out any other way though? I mean, how could this play out any other way? I mean, we don't know her personally. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? On, that don't wife, if you're going to a party. How do we know that this young lady is is a, a whore? Is a hoe. Okay. If you going to a party. How do right? we know this? Would you, would you, you come marry in no jumper bitch? right now. You going no jumper right now, right? Yeah. And the nigga right there with, with the wild shorts on fuck on camera. Okay. He hit before, he hit, I hit, the homie over there hit. You not about to wife that, my nigga. But you, we, we, how do we know that about her? Would she ain't hanging her? around all his she homies. Yes, she, she, is. Yes, she is. So she hanging around all his homies and everybody fuck. Yes. Name them. Well, Damn, game at this industry. point has said he That fucked. ain't fucking his homie. They in the studio. That's worse. Bro, you in the same game. Like, and you walk in and you know. Wait, it's man, life. You it's life. She ain't supposed to have sex. Let me ask. You. Right, Everybody well, don't got to know. You ain't got a wife her. You can fuck. So, so y'all no, no, niggas' no, no, no. baby mamas ain't fuck nobody. Yeah. Right. But not on tape. If I we don't, I don't know, know that. Not on tape. I don't got no baby. So. They sold. They no. sold the tape. <laughs> yes, I do that. Sure. Hold on, I do we that don't sure. know that. We don't know, but we know this. If I fucked the nigga on camera and everybody seen it, she would not. She wouldn't have been my baby. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Would you marry a woman who you know ten niggas she fucked? No. Exactly. Because you culturally know. Well, then again. Her past really ain't, you know what I'm saying, determining what I'm going to do right now in the I future. Know, I, I don't know, so I don't lying. know, dog. You, you said you're lying. You lying, kid. You're I don't know. You're lying. You can lie from the pocket. I'm with you. It's sponsored, but you're lying. You're not going to do it. You're 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 it. Because you don't want that text from glasses to come like, yeah, that's what we doing. I mean, but, you know, you're not supposed to let a bitch pass fuck with you, though. You ain't supposed to let a bitch pass fuck with you. But we do. And no, you, you give can it, have a pass, I mean, it's, but it's no, 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 no. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You supposed to let her pass fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You supposed to let her pass fuck with you. That Anything in this world, if you go to buy a house right now, your past credit fuck with you. If you go to buy a car right now, your past credit fuck with you. Everything in this world, if you go to buy a gun, your past history fuck with you. Everything in life is built off of what you've done in your past. It determines a lot of character. It don't mean she might be a whore moving forward. But you can't question it. But she can't change her life. Would you marry a reformed prostitute? No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, but on the other hand, Adam is sitting here and he does porn and his Adam bitch is fucks. white. You know what I'm saying? What that got different. to do with that anything? Shit. Culturally, it's different. Different, bro. Culturally, it's different. What's, what's so hey, different he, about they it? They turn holes into housewives. They together. They, they doing turn it holes together. In, and they turn holes in the housewife. They're okay with that. Yeah. His friends is not gonna tease him. Your friends is gonna tease you. You had to cut us all off. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, because I, I, I said that I expressed that. I said in the black culture, I mean, we don't look at porn like if, I, if a bitch did porn, we ain't looking at her the like, same. Hold up, like, bro. We, we kind of got a little morals we about ju- ourselves. Even though niggas it, is out here killing each other, when you get to porn, niggas got morals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, mean, I, I, hope, I, hope, I would hope, I would hope <laughs> niggas are killing each other over reasons that they think somebody else is going to take their life or somebody in, in this weird sense of revenge, but Again, man, when Tupac must die, I just showed you. If J. Cole came in this motherfucker, that's going to be our mentality. If J. Cole and the, or Drake and the OVO crew came up in this motherfucker and mopped you up, I'm going to be looking to do something to him. But we also expressed that the 10 year old me would, you know, I'm sparking yeah, everybody. Yeah. So, but even you. But the me right now, we maybe if sparking. I see you. You can tell them lies. Don't put that on me. You can tell these lies all day. Or the tech, because I'm still going to send them text. Come on, we I'll might, we going to get out. Drake memes for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake OVO memes yeah. for you. Yeah. <laughs> me and Pug going to send some memes. That nigga just did a show with Backstreet Boys, but then just put then tips, just on, put tips on T-Rail. Yeah, you you a cold motherfucker. So but you I wouldn't do it on Twitter. I would do it to you. only... You really don't care about none of the backlash that be coming with this shit, man, because the call is, man... Uh, wife, you know what I'm saying? A mother of his kids, you know what I'm saying? He a knew it before she was that, though. I, I, That's crazy. Th- well, this is the thing. As a real fan and, and as a supporter of Kanye West, top to bottom, I have a motherfucking right to have a motherfucking opinion about the shit he's doing with his life. He can kiss my ass if he got a problem with it. I done bought all your CDs, nigga. I bought your stem player. I bought his dumb ass shoes. I bought all your shit. I be goddamn it if I can't have an opinion on this hoe you finna marry. And I was telling you the whole time, don't marry this bitch. But again, that's because you grew up looking at Marilyn Monroe and you thinking this old crack ass bitch is Marilyn Monroe. That's a problem, bro. That's where sometimes they slip out of the culture. I should have a right to say it. Motherfuckers got a right to say what they think of my shit. All the time. When you tell me something, I'm going to be like, man, Trey, you tripping, man. I'm not your friend anymore. Don't call me. I listen to you because you support me. So you can have an opinion. So if, if I can't have an opinion, he think I'm right right now. He's somewhere right now looking at this lady with that little old white man over there thinking like, damn, this bitch didn't dog me out for this little nigga. You can't turn no hoe into a housewife, brother. That's just the truth. What you think he should have done? He should have knocked her down and kept it moving. Have fun. Talk you know about how your fantasy, fantasy, my nigga. First off, why fantasy. would you be dreaming? Why is your green girl a bitch Ray J was fucking on tape? On tape. She was young. I'm not dreaming of nobody that y'all slamming on tape, bro. Why would I dream of that? I mean, if Ray J could have her for sure, I could get her. Yeah. No disrespect to Ray J. This crib. Like, this another level of nigga and cripping and everything. Ray J got her? <laughs> I got her. <laughs> <place>. <laughs> That's no shot at Ray J. Cause like, yeah. Ray J ain't the low I am. Cause this bitch will give me play too. Yeah. Why would I dream about her and Ray J had her on tape? Yeah, he's man, I put, have fun man, with I put that. my dick all in this lady ears at that point. Ray J had her on tape. I got her. Do y'all, do y'all feel like y'all feel the same way? Yeah, that's why I was a part. They of the just record. don't want to say it. I feel well, the same way. I mean, they'll say it, but I mean, they wouldn't want to say it. I'm on the motherfucker. Give a fuck, yeah, so, I, I, man. Fuck. So bitch, y'all own the you own the record. Yeah, I'm the first verse on there. So yeah, he said yeah. the bitch and talking about plastic surgeries and all that shit. Oh, uh, uh, y'all niggas you ain't, you ain't is cold. No, I ain't heard it yet. Uh, uh, I ain't, hold up. I, I got to fuck my mind up after I get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you, you, I tell you, I got to ride to I got to digest what G be doing. Yeah. You know, oh, I just bro. can't just be lit, put on my phone I'm and be, be like, honest. you know, I got to, you know, I got to ride to shit. I got to digest it. Everything this nigga do, I got to dissect it. Because like yeah, you said, the yeah. niggas, be, shit, he be coming from a... You know, you know, it makes sense, it, it, you know, it, 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 it it makes sense for you. And you just don't yeah. want to admit it to nobody else. Yeah, it I makes say sense. all the shit you think, and you just don't want to admit it. Because if J. Cole or if Drake and the OVO squad, I don't give a fuck, Chubb and all them jumped on you, we busting on them right off the rip. <laughs> you could say all this bullshit now, you be non violent. We tearing that shit up. Yeah, it could be me and you, we tearing that shit up. Hey, nah, Chubb. I'll get the homie. Nah, we're going to go get these niggas right now for they try to get up out of Burbank. We're going to go on and get on these niggas. Because I don't want to have them jokes for you. You thinking the same shit I'm saying now? Well, Kanye, why would you marry this bitch? I don't know why is everybody mad at me for saying the shit we all think. Well, we yeah. know why is because that's just what. It's cool to be a hoe now. Like they think it's, it's not right cool to be a hoe. Well, no, 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 that. not for us. We don't. It's feel not like cool that, for them to be a hoe. They are lying. Ain't that, that, they girls feel talk about women behind their they back. Yeah, but they call it. You know, what ain't no called? woman finna. Wa- <laughs> I believe it's cool when a woman walk up to another woman. His other bitch just did a crazy ass song. Man, listen, stop. Ignore that. I believe it when a woman walk up to a woman and be like, oh, girl, I had seven niggas in here and the girl give her props. 
If we walk up in a party and there's 10 bitches in here, I hit try hit this bitch, this bitch. You like, damn, nigga, this bitch cold. You ain't gonna be like me, whole ass nigga. These motherfuckers do not tell on each other. They'll know that they did 10 girls. They're not finna walk to him, girl. girl. I had all 10 of these niggas. And she is not finna be the envy of her eye. Is that kind of like That's when, when uh, slut walk. is that kind of like when, um, my nigga 21 Savage was holding up that slut sign for Amber I was so Rose. disappointed. That, that shit, shit broke crazy. my heart. You would have did that too? Yeah, that's what you doing. Why are you doing that? You're not <laughs> How far have you went to the business trail? I'm not going that far. <laughs> You're not going to hold the sign for it. I don't give a fuck. I don't fuck how I'm big her ass too. is, but I ain't holding her. I'm a slut sign. Man, that bitch eyes I'm not even going to that motherfucker. Yeah, that bitch got that, a big old ass and little ass eyes. <laughs> I'm not doing none of that for you her. You hold the sign, cuz? What? Man. She throw the ass on you right now, G. You holding the sign. No, Crip, don't never. <laughs> That's crazy. Y'all know certain things I'm not gonna break on, man. No matter what, that's that that's why cool. I realize what I bring to the game with this hip hop. I bring something that's not there. Backbone. Ain't no backbone in the game right now. Everybody is folding over. Like they making them act a certain way. They making them apologize. Crip gang. I'm not doing none of that. I'm I'm not the young the young homies from the land who feel like I need to be like Detroit or I need to be like Atlanta. It's niggas trying to be like Atlanta and the Atlanta niggas making fun of them. Yeah, but they respect the North Crippin. They don't want. They want to be like us. Why would you be trying to be like them? Yeah, that shit is crazy. They want to be like us. They started gangs and shit, and they like, yeah, we fuck with y'all. You it niggas look, go down there and be rapping it, like them. It looks successful to me. We got too many politics right? down here. So these niggas is what retarded. You know what I'm saying? Ran into? We 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 got politics. What it's politics like, we ever ran into? We do what we want to do. Yeah, like you know, why'd you stop fucking with Mac Ten? No reason at all. Mac stopped doing music. Mac got sick. Um, um, health wise, he had diverticulitis, and he kind of didn't know if he wanted to do music. I think he felt stress was like it was a stress of it all dealing with it. Mm. But I never stopped fucking with him as much as he stopped fucking with it. Was it ever a conflict in there? Because you all was the getting into with uh, all the you know Cube and then you know Dub C and then you know. me and Mac, yeah. me and Mac, me and Mac had conflict a thousand times. Nothing crazy, but it was certain things he told me. Fashion, which is funny, we could talk about that, but. He was telling me certain things, and I didn't listen to him. Those are the things I regret. Some things I was right about, but there were some things I was dead wrong about. Mm -hmm. One of them is trying to fuck with, like, dressing, like, versus understanding what L.A. mean and culturally how people see us and how our business, and me not wanting to be what we've been our whole life, right, which is some Dickies, some Chucks, and all that. I was like, I'm not wearing that. I'm dressed like a rapper. Yeah. I don't think I ever paid attention that the niggas from home was dressing like this. You know what I mean? The rappers. Um, but nah, me and Mac clash, but shit, man, I got a ton of money with Mac, a ton of education, and that's my nigga. I talked to him two days ago. So mm -hmm. Mac was like the first whack 100 as far as like the West Coast, you know, Cash Money West, and he brought you over there through who bang, you know, and uh, introduced you to a bird, man. Some shit to say. I don't know if it's quite whack. Whack shit is a little different. Um, whack shit is more complex, what he's doing business-wise. Wack opening a lot of doors for his little plays. Yeah. His plays. Mac is was a successful rapper. Like the first nigga we seen that was an Inglewood nigga that got on. You feel me? Fucking with Cube and West Side Connection. He talked that shine shit like I talked. He talked that low riding shit like we rolled. He just knew our life. Like he he explained our life to me better than most people in the rap game. So it was a natural connection right when we met. It wasn't nothing really crazy about it at all. It just made sense. But it wasn't, I didn't fuck with him to sign with Baby now. I fucked with him to fuck with him. Whatever he wanted to do, it didn't matter to me. Yeah. Like, I just, of course, that's what the New West was. You just wanted to be embraced by, you know what I mean, the legends that you supported your whole life that you was built in this image, and you wanted that. So the first one that fucked with me, I fucked with him. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> back when you was talking about niggas not having a backbone, I feel like, game right now is having a backbone when he when he when he said nigga i should have been on that motherfucking stage at super bowl nigga you know what i'm saying and dre hasn't done you know what i'm saying quite as much as bitch quite as much as bit as kanye done for me in this short of time you feel me how you feel about that chuck's crazy but every man got a right to feel the way they feel but chuck crazy it's fucking dr dre it's Dr. Dre, but yeah. I mean, but what has Cud done for? Uh, I mean, game? I don't change your life, major multi-millionaire. <laughs> yeah. I mean, y'all niggas tell me. I mean, cause game I mean, gonna be looking. You, you know what I'm saying? But game, but game, but game I mean, also think about the records Yo, that Chuck, they performed, Chuck, bro. Chuck wears emotion on the sleeve. That's yeah. the thing, and, and a lot of niggas really don't understand that. And I had a lot of experience with him, and 
I owe him a lot. He he pretty much is responsible. Him facing G Ride to some degree, as far as Black Wall Street and Four Cent Rest in Peace, is responsible for me getting changing my own life. So my respect for them is at another level, Chuck included. Chuck wears emotions on his sleeve. So when he in those zones of how he feels, it's what makes him such a great artist. He goes all the way there. He just died face first. I'm like, hold up, nigga. Like, I'll grab his shirt and shit like that. That nigga just gone. You feel me? And he'll go too far. And I think that's the thing that make him great as well. He just go too far. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I fuck with him too. You know, he he gonna apologize later on probably, yeah. but niggas because gonna accept his apology, you yeah. know, because, because niggas know he passionate. It. If you love, if you fuck with, like, I fuck with Chuck, man. Like, I got genuine love for him. He just go too far, and you just kind of know it's him, so you're like, oh, I hate this nigga, though. My brother is like that. My younger brother is like that. He just go too far. You be like, damn. Feel me? But again, if you love the people, if you fuck with them, then you just deal with it. But Dr. Dre, you know what I mean? Dr. Dre changed his life. It's obviously, he's a millionaire fuck with Dr. Dre. Your first million is different than your 15th. Yeah. Feel me? It, it, your 15th could happen because of your first. There's very few niggas go from zero to 15 million. No, that's hard as fuck. So... so the reality is I think he um he just felt some kind of way about it. And and that whole Super Bowl show was about Dre. Mm -hmm. It was just about Dre. It was his biggest records, his number ones, you know what I'm saying? And, and his biggest claim to fame today in Kendrick. Um, you know, as far as what's what's today, you know, fucking forty years later, this nigga been breaking artists since eighty three. You know, what what they did the surgery record in eighty three for a world class record. wrecking crew yeah. and you still breaking niggas in two thousand thirteen with Kendrick, like that's crazy. Yeah. That yeah. motherfucker's some shit, man. Everything and ain't gonna to teach you, and ain't gonna teach you shit. Ain't gonna give you no information, no game. It's gonna scrutinize everything you do, but you gotta love him. So you know, with that being said, how you feel about you know the state of hip hop right now, and you know like the double XL cover highlighting you know even gay rappers and shit like that, like the young nigga Saucy Santana and shit. Like, how you feel about that shit? Well, who is that? Saucy is the, uh, the dude that got ass. He's like a nigga that went and got an ass oh, no. and shit. <laughs> Lipstick and shit. That nigga say he the song. nigga that got ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga got ass. Cause I don't think he trying to be a woman or nothing. <laughs> like, yeah. no, that nigga got ass man. and shit. I don't no. know what that's going on. Kind of like just got to let that. <laughs> like he got to let them my nigga. I, yeah, yeah, cuz. Yeah. Yeah. Look, crazy. this what fucks me up right is. Yeah. I saw his freestyle the other day. Mm -hmm. Like two days. Was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was yesterday. And I listened to it. I was like, it's not horrible. It's just gay. Sat what's well, not the gay like you could be gay, bro. Like <laughs> Okay. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you look at <laughs> no, because niggas are you. Look, my you thing is I don't give a fuck if you gay. Yeah. Just be Elton John's gay. Right. Elton John hard as a motherfucker. Come to find out they say Luther Vandross could have been gay. It don't matter. Teddy Pendergrass got called with a tranny. It don't. If you great, it don't motherfucking the lead singer from Queen, cause that nigga gay. That nigga hard as a motherfucker. It don't matter if you gay. You just can't be gay. Like, I don't like that we market. Like, Frank Ocean is good, but he's more gay than he's good. What the fuck? Like, you marketing gay you more than just being gay. Yeah, you mar you marketing the gay aspect more than you marketing the music. Because that shit gonna sell, and you know they protect it. And, and, and um, again, like, I had the same conversation with one of my boys that worked with uh, Lil Nas X. Because I was saying it. I'm like, man, this nigga's a cornball. Like, he gay-facing. Like, you gay, bro, but that's not gay. Like, that shit you doing on them videos is stupid. That sh it's like a black person wearing a black face to entertain white people. He's like a gay person acting overly gay to entertain white people. Mm. That shit is unimpressive. That's because you, your shit is just like diet Backstreet Boys. Like, work harder, nigga. Like, you could be dope. Like, that little nigga got real talent. Feel me? But stop being corny. Stop being direct. Like, work further. You know, like, find some nooks and crannies about the culture and, and express them. You a black gay man in America, nigga. You mean to tell me that's the depth of your struggle? Like, you in here rapping about, you in jail with niggas and niggas doing average dance routines naked? I'm not impressed, and I'm not talking about it. You're not gonna impress me. That's, you're gonna have to work real hard to get further with me. That average ass routine. Why you gonna get a good dance routine if you're gonna be naked with a bunch of niggas in the shower? Fuck it up. You can't just be average. <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> why? <laughs> Why, why you think the hip hop is marketing? You know what I'm saying? Crazy, gay shit as much as they doing right now. I mean, it's the new to to, to them. Let them tell it. It's the new black. It's the new art life. It's the new street. Yeah. Feel me? It's, it's an underrepresented community at a mainstream level that they feel like they could get exposed wrong and 
we had a time where the brand is making everybody wealthy, not the public. So, feel me, motherfuckers could just be gay. I'm just, Saucy is, Walk, that song is hard. I come to find out they said it's a diss record, but that song hard, but. Who was he dissing? Somebody who couldn't walk. That was in the wheelchair, they said. And he, and he gay. Wheelchair, <laughs> this shit gay? is crazy. The nigga in the wheelchair, wheelchair is gay. Well, yeah, it's crazy. So it's two gay <laughs> niggas battling. I'm feeling uncomfortable rap. talking about all this shit with niggas in gacky yeah, suits yeah, up yeah, here, yeah. man. I don't even <laughs> know you brought that shit up, man. I don't like, give a fuck. I just wanted to hear nigga, about the state of gacky. Got on, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm like, hold no, on. The song is crazy because the nigga is telling the nigga in a wheelchair, now let me see you walk. That nigga's an asshole, cuz. That's cold. That's so cold. Shit. The, the song bang, though. Shit. The, the song, song bang. The song bang. But the bang. point is, that's why I don't take it easy on no man. I'm fuck if you a nigga and you take dick, Wait, bro. So I'm not taking it easy shit? on you. Yeah. No, we can't yeah. play it because I'm not, I don't want to see that. I don't want to walk. Oh, no, no. But I'm saying I've heard the song enough to know how good that. Oh, like, okay. that shit hard. Like, sonically, it's what? dope. It's a dope walk record. Walk is hard. Yeah. Now, his song, Walk Hard, like Lil Nas Edge, that first song is hard. Old Town Road. Old Town Road, all that other shit, it. regular. But that walk song, that motherfucker hard. And a nigga really ain't gonna hate on a dope record, like to be honest, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Now, but I ain't heard the record though. I heard yeah, it. Me neither. I heard now it a hundred times. It. Everywhere I go, I hear the motherfucker, somebody playing, I'm like, this motherfucker cold. Yeah. A little weirdo got some shit. But like you said, I mean, it's either it's either they promoting, they promoting like the gay side of hip hop, or you know what I'm saying, they they looking and they let motherfuckers see like you motherfuckers going to jail, y'all shooting and killing each other, and you know what I'm saying, hip hop is gonna go down the drain well, sooner niggas, or later. Well, niggas, niggas just has need always to be been smarter the face when it comes to that. We always the face of the horrible shit. Yeah. And it be other motherfuckers doing way more horrible things than us, but they always make us the face of it. So they gonna always try to put that shit on us. I mean niggas you know be saying? rich out here just like beefing with other rap niggas and shit. That shit is retarded, bro. I, I don't know, man. I don't really give a fuck. That I look. Like that shit's stupid. I, I really genuinely think it's the drugs. Mm -hmm. We can try to blame ourselves, we can try to blame the culture, whatever. Many niggas is on dope. And they on prescription medicine. How are dope, they getting dope. all this prescription medicine? That, you That's know. the real I mean, conversation. It really is dope fiends, though, when you think about What's it. What's one of these niggas? I'm the only nigga talking it's crazy, really like and I'm sober, and everybody that, think I'm crazy. The nigga that we didn't want to be like growing up, at least us. And they on we real dope, nothing though. nothing like the dope fiends, my nigga. Real dope. Like, first off, nigga, they, they ain't even on the dope. Nigga, nigga, it's stuff. coming off the plane. Yeah. They cutting it. Now <laughs> <laughs> like, these niggas flying that I shit mean, in. We grew up, That's we different. wanted to be that. <laughs> That's different, but this but is why I'm saying, again, this fall <laughs> back on them folks, <laughs> man. Yeah. This will fall back on them folks. They not even on cocaine. These niggas really doing medication. And yeah. bragging How about are you getting all this medication, nigga? Niggas getting medication. These niggas ain't even on real drugs. These niggas on real prescription Psychotropic nigga, I, my, medicine. One nigga told me he was going to a pill party or something where they just like everybody show up with pills and just pour them in a bowl. And niggas just pop And niggas them. just grab some and they just take went them to a buffet while they partying. Dope. So, so while y'all to me be worried like, about. crackhead shit. So this is what I was telling Stretch. While y'all be worried about, I hear people talking about black people violence and gay people, gay, pe gay people rap. Man, it's this pill. All these niggas is dope heads. All, every last one, even the saucy niggas probably on dope. That shit ain't normal. That nigga confuse him up. If you're going to be a bitch, be a bitch. If you're going to be a man, be a man. What's the middle part? Drugs. When you try to be everything, that's some girl shit anyway. Good women, only women think they could be everything. I could be everything. I could be a hoe and a faithful woman. I could be sunshine and nighttime. That's some woman. She knows like your, your old lady always talking about some, it's quiet, but I want it noisy. That's how some of them people be looking at me. But that's drugs. Drugs confuse your mind like that. Like I... When they had the whole thug case, cause when they ran in his house, everybody talking about them running his house or what he fighting. I'm they got 40 bottles of lean. First off, how the fuck you get 40 bottles of lean? Who the fuck got that many codes? Cheat codes. I'm talking about you've got the flu. He's talking about codes like sick. Oh, like who got that many calls? Because I'm like, like you got a cheat code if you got 40 <laughs> bottles. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, who the fuck? Who the fuck gave you that? Who that sick? Who that sick? Who that sick? That that sick? That need all these calls. We pass out that motherfucker. And again, it fall back to the science system. Feel me? And I ain't one of the super pro black persons with all the conversation, but that don't worry you that a nigga can get his hands on 40 bottles of medicine? Yeah, that's crazy. And we ain't looking at these white folks like, bro, how y'all, okay, somebody, who's selling under the table? 
Right. Yeah. Who 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 at this company at this pro meth company got this shit under the table? Who working and why are we not locking them up? And they just selling Niggas drugs. Niggas ain't gonna dig that. Who was that though? freeway, Rick? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't you ain't never name. been. To, you ain't never been the one to be like you know pro black. You know, kind of preaching shit. You know, right now because you know Black Lives Matter ain't ain't looking too good. You know, you know with the young lady. Um, pills, man. They probably on them drugs. <laughs> she on them drugs too, cause she using the money to buy houses and some R. Kelly. Look That's how they crazy. doing all these people, man. Damn, how you feel about R. Kelly? I'm sad, brother. Yeah. That you sad? Yeah, you why you ain't got school. no kids, man. Fuck R. Kelly. Is you crazy? It's Nigga, that, you don't bro. remember we was in school? How the bitches used to get picked up by older niggas? I said that, but that ain't cool. Hold up, but again, it was cool. Then. <laughs> That's not <laughs> cool, <laughs> nigga. Not cool. Talking about what we sad, used to do. I didn't used to do shit. No, not us. I'm saying we used to see it though. Don't put. We used First to see off, look, this yeah, the bitch you it. like used to get picked up by a nigga oh, way older than you. Oh God! You used to be like, damn, this bitch got, this, that nigga got a car. Gina, cause you couldn't get no bitches in high school. You could get no women in high school because there was niggas who graduated six years ago across street in cars. That don't make it cool for R. But Kelly not, to go by the school but, and but pick a case, bitch up. But that's not what I'm saying. His case ain't built off of that. You it's, still fuck with some of your homies that did it. I sure the fuck do. <laughs> no, that's not the point. Hold up, no. But that's not his whole case, and I don't like that we keep making that his whole yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His whole case is a lot of old women, too. It's a old lot of old women, too. Being treated crazy. Me? And they wasn't being treated crazy. He's a sick man. Yeah, he You can't yeah. just want to do these things just to be with R. Kelly and then get mad at R. Kelly like it's his fault. How are they charging with trafficking? That's a pimp charge. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, is that's he holding bitches, by, you know? No. Yeah, it's against their will. They not holding girls against their will. They I was never in my life wished prison on no man. I think no, we should kill no. niggas for prison. But honestly, his the crime that I saw that that made sense. If I was a legal person, was okay. You got him on child pornography. Some he was getting here for somebody fifteen or whatever, giving the man his six seven years. Why the fuck did he get more time? It's motherfuckers who didn't kill motherfuckers and got 30 years. Hey, and we, it's not like he got 10 underage women on his shit, whatever that means, because it depends on which state you're in. You a motherfucker in Nevada, it's 16. But he don't got 10 of them. It's all these women acting like it's his fault. No, you thirsty ass bitches was trying to get on. This you happened. had niggas mistreating you, and it's different if R. Kelly mistreating you. Oh, well, he made me shit in the bucket. Go home. Oh, he had mental control, so we wouldn't want to go home. No, you fuck is R fucking Kelly. R. Kelly can't read and write. Most niggas don't know that. The text me, they can't read and write. R. Kelly still can't read and write? Right now, bro. He said it in a song. Right now. I I know the nigga. I text the nigga, bro. He cannot read or write. When you text R. Kelly, what was that text like? Bro, I been to the nigga's spot, bro, and the hoes can't look up at you. He probably was. He probably was. A lot of niggas. But how many words he spelled wrong? He was voice texting. You know a nigga voice texting. You know somebody who had too. All the punctuations, right? So you know what the words look like, nigga. The point I've said is, again, again, me judging R. Kelly for his 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 issues, like, okay, I'm gonna do this, and I'm not gonna do this for long. Here we go. Men living vicariously through young women is weird to me, but that's also because I'm an intellect and I read books and I talk to homies and I and I've been in a different life. So what could a woman 23 do for me at this point in life? Feel me? So again, at that point, it's radar. So then it's only a legal precedent. You know what I'm saying? So R. Kelly can't read or write. Now, I'm not saying it's okay for him to mess with nobody 14, 15, or 16. That's his cross to bear. But what we shouldn't do as a society, especially black America or even white America, is try to act like that niggas ain't been living vicariously through young women since the beginning of time. I mean, that's not fair. So get a man in six or seven years. Why is this man getting 30? He finna die in prison. Because it's child pornography. That only carries six years. It does only carry six years, but I mean, they hit him with the man act. Do you niggas got daughters? Yes, he got one. I got a son. So he, he didn't try to shut it down. But you listen. got a daughter and a son. No, he got a son. I got, I got a son. He and you got, got a daughter. daughter. Yeah, yeah. And R. Kelly was doing that no, to your I'm daughter. Not, we gonna not, shoot do you. Do you want Art? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna we'll spark his shit up. He need to get sparked down. No fucking six or seven years, nigga. So long as everybody agree, I can make R. Kelly must die. If as a father, one of the kids. Oh, yeah. What's crazy? I is, mean, they like crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, fuck the hero, Gina. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, nah. he made R. Kelly nah. must die. Crazy <laughs> if you do that. But fuck I feel, them all. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like if you got abortions under your belly, you shouldn't say shit about R. Kelly. Oh shit. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> you can't care about kids and kill them too. <laughs> I mean, okay. I, 
so y'all niggas, hey, so hey, y'all so niggas, don't say nothing about our camp. Y'all niggas fuck with y'all niggas fuck with Biden or Trump. For me, I'm going to Trump over Biden. Trump, my nigga. So you niggas love Trump now. No, Trump over Biden. Trump over Biden. Trump over Biden. It been like that. You what? You didn't feel like that? Nigga Biden. What you mean it been like that? Y'all niggas was Trump fans? No, I'm saying when Biden. I'm saying that. I, I'm saying that like I, 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 I fuck with. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Trump over Biden. I know what he's doing. He fucking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, that's Trump crazy. or Biden. Trump or Biden. Yeah. Trump. Cause okay, all right. now mean, that that's all. We I mean, he let out to. Kodak. I mean, I fuck else, with cause. This nigga won't even let Brittany Griner get out. This whole ass nigga won't even let this lady get out. Man, Biden. He should have been when got her. How you ain't get this lady out? Gas high as a motherfucker. He should have been when got her. I seen your ass out. talking shit about us paying for gas when you was getting charging up that <laughs> Tesla too, nigga. That ain't right. <laughs> yeah, see, gas prices high as a motherfucker. <laughs> Trump told us that. He said, soon as nigga get, happen. soon as this nigga in office, y'all know but the nigga shit gonna be seven dollars. But our people, black people, man, we we vote and all that shit with emotion, man. We just everything. They play on our That's emotion, what we talking about. And then we fall for it. Bro, Tupac must die. Kanye should have never married that bitch. I have understood at this point that most black people are mainstream they are being manipulated by mainstream opinion they forget what it's like in our barbershop we really want to fit in so bad that we think we in feel me and then what happens is you got one nigga still just being that nigga and they like who the fuck i feel like a dinosaur like i'm saying some shit nigga be like man g man you can't say man that nigga shit is lame Lil Nas x i don't give a fuck he gay his shit lame i don't know i just say I don't give a fuck who he fucking. That shit lame, my nigga. Like, you gotta be good. And niggas is not used to our attitude, but that's how we grew up. When did we not tell niggas what we think? I don't know when we didn't. So it, it, it's great right now. I love the fact nobody really look like the proverbial LA nigga. That's easy for me. I love that nobody wants to make proverbial LA music. That's good for me. Keep on trying to. And I don't know why these niggas be trying to be like Detroit. Detroit nigga is. That's like a nigga in the NBA trying to be like Bradley Bill. Oh, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, you just find Bradley Bill, and that's what you want to do. So, again, it's, it's, it works out for me and all the shit that these niggas got to do. So, you know, right now for the younger West Coast, you saying, like, it's great for you niggas to try to, uh, you know, explore with different sounds because all it's you niggas horrible. sound, you know what I'm saying? All y'all niggas sound it's, alike. It's, it's horrible. They are, making, all of them, they are making the gravest mistake None of, of them sound time. like us. L.A. as yeah. far as us. That's what I mean. But None that's but what's changing is this is what I was saying to y'all that day. Hip hop is your outside your front door. It's not what you see on TV. It's not what you see on your phone. It's what's outside your front door. And the reason I, I was I was I was having this conversation with one of my homeboys that fuck with Drake on them, and I was telling him I'm like, I get it. Like, it's a lot of fashion niggas. Man, I respect all the fashion niggas. I said, but when you doing this business, my nigga, you don't go to McDonald's if you opened up a you fuck with fashion hard trail, you know it. You ain't finna put your motherfucking McDonald's working at a bunch of fashions. Cause you know why? That don't cater to the business. This a business. People know what the West Coast look like. And if you try to tell them something else, they're gonna tell you you stupid. You try to go, if they go to a party, they is not gonna dress like no nigga today. They gonna dress like some nigga. They ain't gonna say it look like the old West or this. They gonna be like, this is what an LA nigga look like. He gonna have some dickies on, dicky top and bottoms with chucks, some lokes. That's the only L.A. they know. But do we keep it there? You know what I'm saying? Because at some point, I feel like you got to change change the image. You got to change that banging. because it's niggas banging you'll be still, strategic. But it's niggas I mean, banging. it's not strategic, but you'll be, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Uh, like stagnant. A, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'll be it's, stagnant sitting there. But our culture is stagnant. So how do we get out get out of that? Because I don't want to look like Ice Cube, nigga, when a nigga look at me. But you don't have to. <laughs> like I don't, I'm, don't. Not, I'm not Ice Cube. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you also but you also ain't a nigga that prides yourself in saying West Coast. You don't market LA. You don't market the West. You market trail. You market yourself. You yeah. market T Rail. If you start screaming West, Crip, Blood, they know what that look like. I seen an LA oh, rapper, I don't even know his name, but the nigga was like I ain't throwing up the W no more. Like, like, it's like, nigga, why you don't want to? Who are you, nigga? Why are you even here then? Like, you don't want to yeah. throw it up. You don't got to market that to me. You know what I'm but if you say any of yeah. these things, if you say cuz, they know what that look like. And they got three examples Snoop Dogg, Doughboy, and Rocket. And yeah, they do. That's it. Everything else don't even matter. I mean, outside of us, that's all they see anyway. Outside of us. You know, we don't dress like this every day. Like, I mean, well, of course you be on what you be on. But, like, nigga, we wear different shit. But when it come down to representing this, 
this West Coast rap shit, like my nigga. We don't yeah. want you to we mistake gotta look, us for anything other yeah, than LA. Don't nigga. mistake me for That's nothing you outside. And when of you LA, hear us, you gonna hear LA. I don't yeah. want to sound like nothing else. None of that other shit. We're not fucking that. That shit ain't even that dope to me neither. And it don't even be good. And we better than I like the shit that I like some of the shit from certain. They don't even rap like the good ones. They be rapping like the bad ones. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that's that. It's like Detroit niggas, Eminem. Niggas rap like Eminem. Niggas rap like a nigga selling 13 records. My nigga, yeah. that's just. Like, nigga, you, you invite somebody to a Detroit? party. This is, nigga, we this not showing up to your party with 10 niggas in khaki suits and chucks and bandana. Like, we ain't doing that shit at a nigga personal party. Nah, hell But that's no. how we're going to go to the Grammys. Yeah. I mean, it is tight if you pull up. I mean, you Kanye to. pulled up with a khaki suit to I the know, Met. Because you know why? Yeah, he was like, yeah. He was it's like, icy. Yeah. feel me what you mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if we doing it right though, but sometimes I feel like your image is important on the West because I feel like I, I feel like you know dressing in that should have take us a little bit further into those other markets because niggas really you know they they can't comprehend you know what I'm saying that they, they they really don't have nothing to attach themselves to us when they see us you feel me like what is this why, shit but you that's why me? you can only give them dickies the problem is none of us is okay the reason we can't compete with Atlanta fashion wise. Nigga, they urban community is tied into the homosexual urban community. We all know fashion some gay shit. You know what I mean? Women and gay shit. It's more gay niggas that, you know what I'm saying, that do it because, you know, women run the world and, you know, it's more women clothes than men clothes. But that's why. I mean, but you no, can I'm still not, be not, fly. But what I'm, I'm not saying that. But fly don't also mean just expensive. No, it don't. It, it Hell no, it don't. It an extension of who you are, your brand, think that, though. that look nice. Yeah. Feel me? So again, you could wear the same dickies and everything else. I'm not telling people they should wear dickies. Wear what you want to wear. But I'm telling you, if you scream you a crip, the rest of the country know what crips look like. Now, it I agree. We all crips like a motherfucker. They look whatever we look like. That ain't what they know. Snoop Dogg, Doughboy, and motherfucking Rocket. That's where they're gonna see it at the highest level. So if you say, it's no surprise that when I say Snoop Dogg is the greatest hip hop artist of all time, they all know what Snoop Dogg looks like. As soon as you see them, yeah. they don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. They don't care about how we feel about the culture, where we want it to go. They don't care about that. We know what them niggas look like. So when we come looking for it, this is what we're going to look for. And you think that's what it, uh, the West Coast is supposed to be in a hole? I mean, because at that point, you it's just, it's still like every nigga rapping like a Detroit rapper. Like, are all you niggas going to be dressing the same? And all you niggas going to be rapping the same? Like, what, what, where do we change? Well, they riding waves. You got to rap like what's outside your front door. All our hoods talk different. Hoover niggas don't talk like 7th Street niggas. 7th Street niggas don't talk like Showline niggas. Showline niggas don't talk like... Uh, uh, it's the uh, lingo. Uh, shit. Talk like yourself. Yeah. But what these niggas is, this is how I could tell they not in the streets. They rap like the internet. Every lingo they use is what people saying on the internet. That's what they study. It's lingo. Them niggas on the internet, them niggas ain't outside. So you can't be a successful hip-hop artist if you not outside. Like, if you not in that soil, you're putting your hand in that shit, you don't talk like us. Yeah. I, you you got to talk like, we don't talk like y'all. It's lingo, nigga. I'll never forget. I went to a party, nigga, when I was 12. Nigga, it was the first time I heard Black Superman, nigga. It was a Hoover party. And the motherfucking flyer said three hooves at the door. That's only something you can hear right there. That's what people pay for. They don't want to hear you talking like no nigga in Chicago. Talking about 12 and, man, sit your ass down. Five and that, that's why that that's why LA hip hop struggling because we we giving diet versions of day culture. It's not looking like LA or sounding. Like we giving it, diet so. versions of they shit. You giving diet versions of trap, and it'll work once or twice. Yeah. But eventually that shit gonna keep falling because they can get the full quality from them. That's like me. Why would I go buy a taco from a nigga when I can go right to the Mexican man on the corner? Niggas can cook, motherfucker. Yeah, Don't do us like that. Niggas can crazy. My say. taco's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> no, but I'm saying if I'm going to buy a taco, a side of taco, I'm going to buy from a Mexican man. If I'm going to buy soul food, I'm going to go buy it from some motherfucking big old lady. Yeah. Feel me? that been cooking for 50 years. That's what I buy. Before we get out of here, um, I want to ask y'all, you know about that rap report card? Oh, yeah, yeah. A little D shit. Yeah. Uh, do y'all think that's a great idea? Well, yeah, him, you know what I'm saying? Great, yeah. I like the fact that the nigga just was being uh, not biased with the shit. Yeah. Even Only thing I don't like with, I think like... he got Vince Staple shit fucked up. Exactly. Vince hard as a motherfucker. Uh, and yeah, Vince Staples. But you do it, you think some of those, you know what I'm saying, grades is for shock factor? No, I think he'd be right. Nah, I, I think, think he truly believes really that. Look at it. He yeah. says it's his opinion. He's like, he yeah, says, you know, the niggas that he say he listened to the most didn't have the best grades. 
Yeah. So it ain't like he just gave a nigga the best grade because he like him. He was just like, I like I these niggas, the, but I they ain't doing shit. It's funny. The little nigga brilliant. Um, he's slick at what he do, but I think it's brilliant. I think he, I think he's stimulating that like culture. It got rappers feeling like, oh, I wasn't on the list. I remember mm. when we was coming to guy, nigga, we did not care about nobody list. These nah. niggas really be on the internet like, well, I ain't on the list. I'm like, a list? Fuck that list like that. Now, I remember like, the first you know, time yeah, they yeah, told yeah. me that, that, that I was going to be in like a XL. I was like, well, for real? Money, yeah. They was like, yeah, you, you ain't tripping? I'm like, hell no, I don't got none of the magazines. Man, it's crap. <laughs> really oh, out God. here. Feel oh, me? God. The homies, long as a nigga, long as I jump out on Vermont and as long as I jump out on Fig and 104th and niggas know what's up with me, man, we good. We good. Well, all right, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Before we get up out of here, man, G, you know what I'm saying? L.A. Giants, man, make sure y'all shout out everything y'all want everybody to check out. Do none you of them shout outs, man. You know? Niggas Google. Nah, motherfucker, we gonna t- <laughs> don't listen to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Show, no Tell niggas y'all Instagram out. links, you know what I'm saying? Y'all YouTube links and all the whole shit, yeah, man. Instagram, do that work? the L.A. Giants. Yeah, it does. People actually hear YouTube, that be like, LA Giants. they gonna go check these niggas out. Gene, yeah. if people hear that, be like, let me go follow this person. I have my homie Jay Hartless on here. He from 7 4. And they was like, they he when I came back, he hit me. He was like, bro, they everybody fucking with me. Niggas is calling him and all type of shit. And this right. is the nigga a nigga ain't never heard of or That's whatever. Crazy. I think I don't I don't think marketing work on me or something. I ain't never followed nigga. I heard like follow me. I'm like for sure I ain't gonna follow you. Oh, marketing work on you. You just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know the worst shit in the world when a nigga say like you already know who it is. Nigga, I don't know who it is. You shouldn't like, have married that bitch. <laughs> nigga, they looking for you. Yeah, check that tell new single tell out too. Yeah. Man. What the fuck? Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, my boy. LA Giants, man. man. Google Giants, it. Everything. Twitter. Yeah. Motherfucking Instagram, yeah. you know, we just put out a double album out, G Sides and P Talk. Go check Bella that with out. A Z too, no yeah. S with a Z. So um yeah, and Kanye should have never married that bitch, man, featuring Sugar Free, Glass Malone, LA Giants. I think it's the hottest record in LA yeah. shit really in the game Shout right now. Shout out to my so, nigga Ye, man. He know I'm right. Yeah. Go on retweet that. Yeah, tell these niggas I'm right, bro. Yeah. Bang that shit. Yeah. Up. West side. All right, we gone. <laughs>